I had a video on the writing team mentioned in this case briefly, but I think it probably deserves a video on its own because I think it just having a mention in a completely nearly unrelated video doesn't do enough justice about it. And especially considering how my favorite is YouTuber and video essay is each bomber guy did a video about plagiarism. I think this should be a great opportunity to showcase a particular case of plagiarism I had with uh, from another YouTuber, especially a more successful one. Some ye old viewers of ours did remember the Gmod virus video we did a while back last year, where we discussed a story on surface about the June 3rd, 2022 incident about what happened in Garris Mod and how it affected a whole bunch of people by into being infected by their own in their game with a screamer and goatsy from what seemed to be previously generating add-ons created by someone who recently got pissed at the amount of pressure they had where getting creating said add-ons and as part of an unpaid labor that they do creating add-ons for Garris mod. This video reached a modicum of success gaining over 100,000 views by the time I'm recording this and it's probably one of the proudest works that we created on the JMA TV channel and there has been a certain amount of research from looking at sites like Reddit, YouTube, and certain Steam boards and other places, even asking Garrett Smart players about the whole thing. I think at some point I even credited the original Reddit poster who outlined his whole story behind the mod creator and his Gmod virus that, that he made, which was conveniently translated into our video and narrated there and we credited them in the description of the video and we pinned and they pinned comment at some point as far as I know. But then something happened. Browsing through YouTube recommendations after our Gmod video was made, I found a thumbnail and a title that was strikingly similar to ours in some way or another, but it featured G-Man instead of Dr. Kleiner from Half-Life 2 because somewhat they don't want to make it too obvious and you'll see why in a minute. The video was from a guy called Rat Lover on YouTube and what you should know is that he tends to follow other lovely people such as Frank Castle, whoever that is. What you should know as well too is that it's the video about the same literal topic as I covered in our Gmod virus video. And while the video wasn't really obviously a verbatim war by war ripoff, it still counts as an act of plagiarism, as it tells the story of which we told nearly point by point exactly as it was told in our video. This will have happened if you played Garris Mod on June 3rd, 2022, with these add-ons. These add-ons, more specifically Glue Library, View Extension, Ambient Occlusion, and Action Extension, had a virus that, when launching a map, filled the screen with Goatsy and played a screamer. In early June of 2022, Garris Mod users and their workshop, for the first time ever, had come under attack. The target? players who had subscribed to a popular workshop add-on known as Glue Library. Glue Library was not a traditional Garry's Mod add-on. For contrast, nearly an estimate of 40,000 Garry's Mod players have been affected by this virus. It's estimated that somewhere in the ballpark of 40,000 Garry's Mod players were infected by the malicious add-ons, and the damage and time that it wasted likely far exceeds that. The code looks like this. His code is filled with a Rage 7 built up over these last days since his add-ons were giving everyone else Lua errors. The commented section is very telling. This file not only executed the malicious code that had caused all this, it also included a message from the developer of the add-on himself, Captain Corrigan. F*** you, Steam. F*** you. F*** you, Steam. F*** you, Gary. F*** you, Gate. He ended up getting the Steam account banned. But that was not the end of it. And Glue Library, the add-on at the center of it all, had been banned along with its creator. As you can probably guess, that was hardly the end of the story though, and the effects of what had happened would last much, much longer than just one day. Of course, I forgot to mention, he also put a Surfshark VPN sponsor in his video, so you perfectly know the intentions of this. What Right Lover did is an act of plagiarism. He just stole the point of our video and changed words on his, so it wasn't clearly obvious. When I asked him on Twitter about him doing this on private messages though, he defended himself in this sort of plausible deniability 
claiming that he didn't know who I was when he made his video, nor did he know about our video existing. But of course, his video is way more successful than ours, claiming way more views than the ones we got on our own. And it is just suppressing that bigger creators can get away with such nonsense because they can curse stump you with their audience and size. I really apologize if this video is too short and sweet, but I think I made it clearly evident that you could not trust these bigger creators stealing content from smaller queer creators like me. And if you don't believe me, well, go watch each Bomber Guy's video on the topic of plagiarism because I just truly recommend it. It's a shame I will probably never get noticed by H. Bomber Senpai that much, but I guess who cares? I made my case. Hey, Red Lover, can you please delete your fucking channel?